Hello guys, welcome to Femtech. My name is Johnson Akins. Today I will be teaching you steps to create vertical navigation bar with social handles using HTML and CSS. If you want to learn how to create the horizontal navigation bar, I've already made a video tutorial on this. I will drop the video link for the horizontal navigation bar in the description below so that you can watch the video tutorial also. Let's take a close look at the screen. Here is the vertical navigation bar. We have the logo, we have the navigation links, home, about, services, portfolio, contact. And we have the connect with us with the social links. We also have the copyright 2023 with femtech.com domain name. If you over on the links, you will see that it changes to color red. More so, if you over on the social links, it changes to color yellow. And we have a background image here. In this tutorial, we are going to be building this vertical navigation bar from scratch. Without wasting time, let's start coding. I've already created a folder titled the vertical nav bar inside my ZAMP htdocs so i have a folder inside my htdocs my htdocs is found inside my zamp so i have zamp installed on this system so inside my vertical nav bar i have my font awesome folder i have my background and i have my logo so i will open my vs code already i have opened the folder here vertical nav bar vertical nav bar that is the name of the folder so this is the name of the folder vertical nav bar so i have my font awesome i have my uh the background and i have my logo i will create my index here index file index dot html also i will create my my css my style sheet index underscore style dot css so inside my index i will press my shift key with my number one then i will press my tab key to get the html tags the templates so inside here now my html tags i will change the title to the vertical vertical navigation bar inside my body tag i will create a div titled vat underscore nav underscore bar underscore overall then i'll press my tab key then inside my vertical nav bar overall i will create another div titled vat underscore nav underscore logo underscore and underscore link underscore wrapper i'll press my tab as well so now inside my uh, vertical nav logo and link wrapper I will create another div for the logo itself. So I will title this VAT underscore nav underscore logo underscore container. So inside my vertical nav logo container, I will type my uh, image tag, my HTML image tag, IMG. Now press my tab, then I will type the logo name. The logo is here and the title of the logo is logo dot 
png so i will come here and i will enter my logo dot png so here now i should have my logo displayed on the screen but before we check it out let's continue i will create the navigation link container after this so i will title this vat underscore nav underscore link underscore container so inside my navigation link container i will create my unordered list you have i will use a shortcut you have greater than l high then how many links do i want let's check the screen and see total numbers of the links one two three four five so i need to create five links so it will be asterisk five then greater down than the a which is the link itself so i will press my tab key to give me five links so inside my links now i will type the link's name the first one is home the second one is about services portfolio and contact about services portfolio and the last one is contact so the next one i'm going to do now is i will create a container for the social links the social links which is this so i will create a container for this so i will come down here after the, the link container for the unordered list i will title this social social underscore link underscore container And I will put there, I will put the P tag. Inside the P tag, I will put the connect. I think it's connect with us. Yes. Connect with us. So after this, I will create another div inside it again. I will title this the social links brand. Social links brands now inside my social link brands then i will put my font awesome which is the social links from font font awesome so you can actually google this by going to font awesome.com all these things are there but i have them i have them off hand so i will type here my font awesome i will put the the first one is in the class and the class is uh, FA hyphen brands. Yes, after, then I'll put the name of the link. The first one here is uh, Facebook. So FA hyphen then Facebook. Then the next one, I will do the same thing to the next one, but instead of me typing this all over again i can just copy this and uh, i can replicate it by pressing my ctrl c with ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v i think we have uh, how many there one two three four we have four four links there so i have three here already then i put the many ones so we have four now we'll only edit this one so the the second one here is instagram followed by twitter and tiktok instagram instagram followed by twitter and followed by lastly by tiktok tiktok so now the next one i need to create is now my copyright so i will create a container for my copyright also i will come here after the social links brand 
and I will title this copyright underscore container now inside this now I will put let me see what is there 2023fentech.com so I will create a paragraph tag P then the copyright so I'll be using HTML entity and COP that is and copy that's the HTML entity for copyright 2023fentech.com and uh, I think that is all yes so this is all we need to do for the html let's take a look at the html on the web browser so to do this i will just come here and click on my go live if you don't have this on your own vs code come to the extension here and uh, install live server just type live server and install immediately you install live server then this should appear automatically here so I will click this now to take a look at what we have created so far. Now this is what we have created. We have the logo, we have the home about services portfolio, contact, connect with us, and we have the domain name with the copyrights that we created. Now we will now use CSS to style this now to make it look exactly like this and like this so let's continue so here now i have i've created my index underscore style dot css so i will come here to add my css link which is this index underscore style style dot css I think I'm correct. Yes, I believe I'm correct. So the next one now is the relationship, which is the style sheet. Then lastly, by the type of the file, which is text slash CSS. Style dot style slash CSS. Likewise, I will also link my font awesome, which is the style sheet there. So I will, I will link this by typing the same link tag again, but with a different uh, href. Link equals to the name of the folder from font awesome CSS slash all CSS. That is the name of what we are connecting to. That's what we want to link it to. Then we'll come here. And we still do the same thing relationship equals to style sheets then the type equals to text slash CSS so that is the link tag for the for the social links the social links now that we've done this we will now need to start our styling so i will come here on the css here i will start the styling the first thing i need to do is a hard reset shift asterisk a hard reset margin equals to margin is zero pixel then padding is zero pixel then box sizing box sizing should be border box i will include my font family here font family i'll be using try budget for this tutorial try budget family so now the next one i will need to do actually what we have done now is to to remove every margin every margin on the browser 
to reset it to, to remove all the margin the padding that came with the browser default so that is what we have just done so the next thing we want to do now is we want to actually target this which is the vat nav bar overall i will copy this and i will come to my css here then i will put my dot and i will style it that is the overall wrapper the width i will make it to be 100 percent then the height height i will make it to be 100 view height then the background the background image because we are using image there the background image will be url then the name of the background is here this is the title 2.jpg so i'll just come here and type my 2.jpg so then let's take a look at the background let's see what we have done so far now take a look at this i added the background but we still need to do some uh styling there so the next one here now is the background repeat i don't want the background to repeat itself if you can take a look at this you see the background is being repeated so i don't want it to repeat it like this so i will need to use the background repeat to control that background repeat to be no repeats now if you check the screen now you will see that the background repeat has actually corrected the repetition of the background image now let's make the background to cover the entire screen that is the next thing we want to do now so to do that then we'll say background size background size should be cover then background position should be center now let's take a look at the screen now take a look at this now so we have actually made the background image to cover the entire screen so the next thing we need to do is we want to style the logo and the link wrapper the logo and the link wrapper which is here the logo and the link wrapper i will copy this and i'll bring it down to my css here to style so the first thing i will do here is i want the width of the wrapper for the logo and the link to be 250 pixel let's use 250 then the height the height i'll make the height to be 100 view height as well then the background color the background color i will make it to be uh i think the background color here we have let's see what we have here okay a gray shade we have a gray shade there so that is f5 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 so the next one now is i want to make the padding i will give it a padding let's take a look at what we have done on the screen here okay now we have it here we have it here if you take a look at it you will see it but it's not too obvious it is somehow blending with the uh the the background image so let's continue our styling it the padding now is 30 pixel the 30 px so the pixel now the next one is the border i want to add a border to it I'll make the border that's the right border the border here if you take a look at this you will see a red line here so i want to give it this red line so i'll just come here the border right i'll make it to be 10 then solid then it is red color so red color is in hexadecima we have ff zero 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 that is for red then i want to now automatically we should have the red now here 
and this is it so the red border has been applied to it so i want to apply a shadow this has a shadow so i want to apply a shadow to this so i will come here and apply a shadow called box shadow box shadow to be a zero px then three px followed by seven px then i want the color to be gray 555 so okay let's see what we have done so if you take a look at this now you see already we have a shadow here now we want to uh the next one i want to work on the logo itself now so for the logo i will copy the vat nav logo container here and i will bring it down to my css i will make the width of the logo container to be 100 percent then i will give it a margin at the top i will make the margin to be 10 px then i will make it display in flex then i want to justify let's see let's take a look at let's take a look at the logo now it's not actually uh working the way it should be now because we are still styling now i will justify the content to center fine so i will come back here now i want to work on the image itself the image tag so i will just copy this then i will also type the image tag at the front because i want to target the the image itself now img now i will make the width of the image to be 65 percent now let's take a look at the image itself now now it has actually fit in to the box that we created here so now if you point to the logo here you will see that it's showing arrow instead of what we have here so to achieve this now i will come back here i will go to my vs code and i will type cursor to the pointer so if i come back here and i point to hit now it should show me the palm sign so the next one is to work on the the links navigation links the navigation links so the next thing i will need to do i will copy the the vat navigation link container here i'll bring it down to my css i will make the width to be 100 percent and i will make the margin at the top to be 40 px to be 40 i'll make it to be 40 then the next one now is i will i will come down to target the unordered list and the list let's take a look at the screen here now i want to remove the list type the bullets here so i will just come down here and i will type the list style should be none so by doing this the bullets will disappear so the next one now is i want to add space in between the list i want to add space on that so i will come here and i will type my margin button I will give it 20 i will have 20 px there so if i check now you will see that we have space underneath each of the links we have space underneath 
So the next one which I'm going to do now is I will put a border, a border at the bottom of the links. I will do that. I will make that to be the border bottom to be two px solid fff zero 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 that is the yellow that we have here the yellow that we have here so this is how to achieve that so i will come again and i will go to my vs code i want to make the text to be center aligned unlike this that is left aligned to be center aligned so to make it center aligned i will come here and i will type text align then i will put center let's take a look at that so you see the text now is center aligned then i will apply a transition to it a transition to it transition of 0.5 seconds that is the change times of change in position when you over on it so now i'm going to work on the the link itself now i've applied yellow to that so i want to work on the links so to do that i will come here and i will the over that's the navigation link container I will type, I will just paste this, then I will put my UL LI over, then here I will make the border if you take a look at this, you will see that if you point to it, the yellow changes to red. And that's what I want to do here. So if you point to this yellow, so it will change to red. So here now, the border bottom, I will make it to be 2px solid. The color for the red is FF0000. That's hexadecimal. So if we come back here now and point to what we have created now, you see it changes to red. Now, I will target the link itself, the A, that's the link, the A tag itself here. So, how to do that now, I will come down. So, I will put my UL, L, I, K, then underneath, I will remove the text decoration, the underlining on each of the, uh, the links, the underlining. I want to remove the underlining on each of the links so i will put text decoration text decoration to be none so that the underline will, will be removed now after doing that then i want to change this color of the links to a gray color i will make it to be color 555 then I will give it a padding, a padding of uh, 10 px. Then I want the display to be black. What am I trying to say? Let me show you something here. Now the color has changed to the black that we just applied. Now I want the display to be black so that by the time I point to this, it will show me in a block format let's continue so you will get you understand what we are saying here block then transition to five seconds now let's take a look at this so now if i point here unlike before unlike before if i should point to outside here it doesn't show let me let me let me comment this how so you understand what we are saying here here now unless you move closer to it before it shows you a palm sign by the time you move away from it you see it's showing you a cursor so if i should point here i want it actually to be in a block form 
so it should actually activate these links for me so i don't need to come here and click on home before i could actually click on the link that is the function of the block so the block here now so coming here now you see i can likewise click from here i can click from anywhere so that is the function of the display block so let's continue from there so the font weight now here the font weight here is bold so i will make it bold i will come down here and i will say font weight to be bold the font weight now is bold so the next one now is i want to target the over so whenever i hover on the links so it will actually change to the red just like this so why my our own is still black so we want to change it to red whenever we point our mouse to the links so i will come here now and i will target the the ul l i h with over then i will put the color here i will put red which is ff 0000 so if i should go back to my web page now if i over on it then i get red color so from black now it will change to red so when you over on the lens it changes to red so the next thing to do now is i want to target my uh my social links this which is this you take a look at this see the way it is being styled so we want to style our home just to look exactly like this before we continue have you subscribed to my channel if the answer is yes a big thanks to you but if the answer is no i will appreciate you do that now because that is the only way to encourage me in creating video tutorials like this and don't forget to smash the notification icon to get notified on every tutorial video i drop let's continue so we want to style our home just to look exactly like this so i will make the text here to align to the center if we take a look at what we have here the text is being aligned to the center why do we one we have here is to this to the left so i want to make the text to align to the center so i'll come here and i will type the text now to the center text align center then i want to apply a margin to it a margin at the top and at the bottom a margin at the top and at the bottom why right here we have no margin just at the top and at the bottom so i will come back here now if you take a look at the one we are trying to replicate there's a margin here there's space here so that is what we want to hide so we want to add a margin to the top so now the margin which i'm going to put the top margin will be 50 px then the right 0 px then the bottom 20 px then the little px the margin works in a clockwise direction the top the right the bottom the left so the 50 applies to the top the 20 applies to the bottom let's check out now take a look at this now so we are able to achieve this but we want to make the text to look uh bold and want to reduce the font size of our home so to achieve that we'll come here i'll make the font size the font size to be 14 px then i will make the font weight to be bold let's check it out now we have it styled now exactly like this now it remains the uh our social icons now our social icons now i will need to 
go back to my html here and copy the social links brands i will copy this then i will bring it here to style here i will make the width of the social link brands to be 100 percent then the text align i will make it to come to the center now let's check it out now we have it at the center but we need to increase the size of the social links we need to increase the size and the color so to do that now i will come back to my vs code and i will target i will target this fa brands i will target my fa brands to do that so i will come back to my css and i will style this i will make the color to be red ff0000 which is red then the font size the font size i will make it to be 24 px then i will let's check it out first now take a look at this and let's check what we have here now is exactly like this but we have space in between this particular one that we are trying to replicate and let's see what we have here we don't have space here so to add space to heat we'll use our letter spacing letter spacing and we're going to make it to be 5 px 5 px 5 px now let's check it out now it has been spaced yes just the same way it has been spaced but if you take a look at this if you point to this you see it changes to a palm sign and also a yellow color when you over on it you can see so we'll make our home to look exactly like that because now we have not achieved that so to achieve that we'll come back to our vs code and we'll make it we'll type cursor pointer and transition to the 0.5 seconds so we'll now work on the over now now if you point to it now it's actually changed to a palm sign but not the yellow color unlike this so we want to make sure it changes to yellow color when we over on the social links so we will come back here and we will target our fa brands over then here we will make the color to be yellow is fff000 that is yellow now if we come back and check what we have here now if you hover on it now we get the yellow color so the next thing that we need to target now is our copyright let's take a look at this we have it here not bold and uh, a bit up compared to what we have here so we need to work on this by going to our vs code we'll come to the html so we'll locate the name here which is the class name copyright container then i will bring it down to my css here and i will style it i will make the container width to be 100 percent 100 percent then i will continue again to style the the p tag the p tag which is this the p tag here so i will come here to style the p tag so i will put p then i will come down i will say the margin for the p tag the margin top margin at the top should be 30 p x then the font size for the p tag should be 15 p x then the font weight the font weight now 
the font weight should be a lighter one not a bold font a lighter one so let's take a look at what we have here now we have it styled now let's compare to this we have done it exactly this way we have it here so we have our links we have our logo navigation links we have the social links and we have the copyright with the domain name if you want to learn how to create the horizontal navigation bar don't forget to check the description below where i will drop the link of the video for the horizontal navigation bar we have come to the end of this tutorial if there be any question kindly drop it in the comment section and don't forget to like this video see you guys next time